who's man and who's woman enough to speak truth to power and really make the change because we got an administration that's in office right now that's not doing America no good. Regardless of what you say about the other guy, regardless of what you say and how you feel, America looks like it's in a implosion. The Democratic Party is so divided, case in point. The Democratic Party has the Senate. The Democratic Party has Congress. And the Democratic Party in the Senate has the deciding vote as the vice president, but they are afraid to put any bills or legislation because it will show the divide that they have. So right now, we, we're going to pay our bills when it comes to the, our debt ceiling or, the, or our debts. Uh, until December and rehab this conversation. I'm going to be all on it because the Democrats are so ununified and it's crazy how the um, higher ups or the people that we don't see can control and manipulate because we have a cognitively declining president that's under, that's being covered up by mainstream media. Why? Because mainstream media is liberal. Understand what I'm saying? Only a liberal um, content, only liberal content or liberal people would actually confuse people, like put a pregnant man on a picture to confuse children. Because I had a conversation with a youngster, and this youngster said, uh, hey, I want to get pregnant. I said, boy, if you don't knock it off, you can't get pregnant. Uh-huh. Look at this. He showed me on his phone, little Nas X was pregnant. I said, wow, that that is crazy. You know, and if you look at the record labels, the industry, the prison system, it's all tied into it. So when you talk about liberal, in short, liberal has no God and they have no checklist when it comes to morality. They wing it. You will have a liberal woman condemn you, cuss you out, tell you, you know, things that you, and say things that they should even say to you. But then they'll sit back and say, well, well thank you, God. Come on now. You know you faking. You know you not. God don't know you and you don't know God. You're basically an advocate for the devil. And that's what this is all coming to. You got good and bad. Bad. You got good and bad. You got light versus darkness. You got positive versus negativity. Optimism versus pessimism. Anything that's positive, there's something that, that rises up that could actually choke out the positivity. Just like you could have a beautiful rose choked out by a nasty weed. 